A lot of people who think about war and war planning and war events and operational studies uh, are more interested in the X's and O's, who went where and when. Notice how common it is to think about D-Day as beginning on the 6th of June, 1944. That, of course, is not true. It begins months, if not years, before that in the planning process. And the other thing is, with what can you carry out this operation? You need the wherewithal. You need not only the manpower and the ammunition and the beans and the bullets and cigarettes and Hershey bars and all the other things that keep an American army supplied, but in addition you need the ships to get them there. You need the ships who can protect the transports. You need to get across the ocean through the wolf packs to Britain. You then need to cross the channel and specially designed amphibious craft. And you have to do all this while at the same time the Americans are fighting a war against the Japanese with more ships halfway around the world. So that demand for shipping was really the logistical bottleneck. There's an old saying among practitioners of war that amateurs talk strategy but professionals talk logistics because you have to have the materiel in hand to do anything. You can't just draw it up on a map and make these nice plans. You have to have it in hand. And the shipping was the thing the Anglo-Americans had to resolve. Uh, and there again, there was a tension between the two sides. The British attitude was, well, if we don't quite have enough shipping, clearly we'll have to postpone the operation. The American attitude was, well, if we don't have enough shipping, let's just build more ships. Uh, because that was the American response, and of course the American uh, infra industrial infrastructure was, well, not literally infinite, but it was awesome, certainly by British standards. So, in the end, um, the British were partly right in that it had to be delayed twice, once from 1943 to 1944, and again from May of 1944 to June of 44, mostly because of uh, the limits of available shipping, and particularly the limits of something called the landing ship tank, the LST, the critical vessel, uh, absolutely essential for Allied success at D-Day, and we just did not have enough of them.